Hello, I'm Rosemary Merry, and I'm pleased to be here with you today to share a fantastic bit of kit from Brother that I believe is going to revolutionize your crafting. All the creations that you see around me have been made with the help of this printer. This is literally straight out of the box. Isn't it cute? It's the Brother Color Label Printer, and it's available to purchase now. The printer takes a range of tapes, 9, 12, 19, 25 and 50 millimetre widths. The tapes are easily inserted into the back of the printer, just like this. Today we're going to be playing with the 50 millimetre roll. It's the biggest size and it's the one that I like best for printing full colour photographs. To get started you'll need to download the Brother Colour Label Editor app from your app store. So here we are in the app and this is where it gets fun. From here you can design your own labels and print your own photos. In the app it's easy to add different frames, patterns, fonts and colours, or to change the size of your design. Okay, so let's talk about how we make one of these. I'm going to go to my app and then I want to choose a new design. I'm just going to drag this hand across here and until I get to as close to two inches as I can. So I've now got my square, I've um, narrowed it to two inches, so I'm happy with that, and I'm going to choose a photo. So I'm choosing iPad photos, and I'm just going onto my roll of photos, and I can just choose, press on a photo, and bring it up into the square. So all I'm going to do now is enlarge it until it fills the frame, and once I'm happy with it, I press approve. Okay, so now I can actually do things with this. I can um, change, I can put text on there, I can change the colors, I could go to black and white, I can go to sepia. But if I just highlight this again, you can see now it's giving me the option to have filters. I can move right through these special effects. I think we'll stay with that for now. Okay, so I will approve that. So if I can just type on here, sun, and it's in Highlight that and now I can start to resize and I can move this just by moving my fingers. Okay, I can get that exactly where I want it. I tell you what though, let's change the, the font on there. And then as soon as you're happy, you're happy with the placement, we press approve and I press print. when it's finished printing, I just swipe across and that's my first photo done. So now if we go and press home, that will actually save that on there for me in case I need to use it again. But let's now create some of the letters. We've got a J. Now when I highlight it again, it offers me the different fonts. Old standard TT bold. If I press this FX, it, it bowls it even more, so it gives me almost a shadow around there. But I'll press off there and I just uh, want to keep it plain. I approve it, and now I want to use a frame. So just let me approve again. I'm not rotating, I'm not changing the colour. I'm just going to choose a frame, and these are already installed. And I'm going to go to my frame here, it's called Colour Frame. I'm going to choose the one that's got a thin frame around the outside and the thicker on the inside. If I approve this, it now gives me the option to actually alter the, the width of the frames in there, both of them. I'm going to approve it and then we press print. I want one copy and it can work its magic. And there we have our first letter. And what I'm going to do now is once you have printed all the letters or the initials and all the photographs that you want for your home decor piece, if you just peel off and stick them down. And then we bring our frame into play. So I have prepared some here take this that we need and we're going to lay them out and then just put our photographs down and as soon as you're happy with the placement we can glue those down. Like 
like so. And there you have it. So whether you're just starting out or whether you're a seasoned crafter just like me, you're going to find new things to use your printer for each and every time. And the best thing, sometimes when we get new gizmos and gadgets, they're off-putting and complicated. But this is a pleasure to use as soon as you get it out of the box. So next time you're making presents, cards, invitations or even something for the home, have a think about how you could include patterns or full-colour photographs to really bring your creations to life. 